There's a whole bunch of music distribution companies that you can use to get your music onto streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music. But the funny thing is, is that most options are probably not a good fit for you. And I'll start with one of the most popular distributors, DistroKid. There's four categories that I really want to hone in on. First and foremost is pricing structure. When I'm looking at a distributor, I wanna know what are the upfront fees and is there some kind of subscription or backend commission that is gonna be ongoing even after I sign up on day one? Are there gonna be add-on costs, maybe a combination of all of the above? And some distributors are actually application only where you have to apply and get accepted to join. And the answer for DistroKid as far as pricing is that it is a subscription and that might be something that you're okay with, but that also might not fit with your goals and your music lifestyle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare some different distributors as far as pricing and CD Baby is usually a really great guinea pig for that because they have a completely different pricing model compared to DistroKid. They are a single one-time fee and then a back-end commission. You can even see on their website, they highlight no annual fees. Whereas DistroKid, that they do not take any back-end commission, but you are going to pay an ongoing fee. Now let's compare even a third pricing model from my distributor, AWOL. AWOL is one of those distributors that you have to actually apply to be a part of and they don't charge any upfront fees or subscriptions, which makes them different than DistroKid and CD Baby. But they do take a 15% commission off of all the revenue that they collect. Now, I know you guys are already diving into the comments because CD Baby also does collect a commission on the back end, but it's much smaller than 15%. They actually only keep 9% and that is an addition to that one-time upfront fee that you pay when you distribute your song for the first time. There are so many different pricing models that are out there from distributor to distributor, and it's not the point of this video to go into every distribution company that's out there. That would be a 10-hour video probably. So what I wanna do is give you the tools and give you the things to look for when you're deciding for your own lifestyle and your music career, because maybe a subscription is perfect for you, or maybe you would prefer to pay nothing upfront and only take a back-end commission. So that's why I wanna get this pricing discussion discussion in your mind when you're choosing a distributor so you can make the right choice for you. A few other things to look for, some distributors might include the cost of an ISRC in the distribution process, but for others it might be an add-on. Just look closely at what you're getting versus what is an add-on because some things like YouTube Content ID are included in the distribution price, right? For example, if I distribute a song through AWOL, they will collect my YouTube content ID royalties. But if I distribute that same song through DistroKid, they actually don't collect that by default and there's an add-on charge for that. And we'll talk more about add-ons later in this video. But now let's move into the next category in my distributor assessment tool. And that's the discussion of features. What are you getting in addition to just getting your music onto Spotify and Apple Music, right? What comes in addition to that basic service? And there are things to look for like, can you license cover songs in the distribution process? Some distributors offer that, uh, like DistroKid and Lander, where it's just a one-click add-on. You can get that cover song license secured all in one simple step. You're also gonna wanna look to see if your distributor offers any pre-save links or smart links to help you market your music. That can be a really helpful tool. And for example, DistroKid and CD Baby both offer options in that area. A few other things that I look at when choosing a distributor are how advanced and how detailed the analytics are on the back end. And that's why I love AWOL. They have better analytics than what Spotify for Artists has many times. And so that's something to look at. Many distributors are doing this really well and others not so much so that's something to look into here's a big one that is pretty specific to your situation royalty splitting do you need your distributor to automatically calculate and split royalties between multiple artists if that's something that is non-negotiable for you then you're going to definitely want to check out the distributors that offer this feature like DistroKid. There's a few other things that I wanna give a quick mention. Some distributors have a mobile app that's really cool where you can quickly check your analytics and your distribution status. You're gonna to wanna to check to see if YouTube royalties is included or an add-on like how I mentioned earlier. And then also I would put customer support in this bucket because you're 
you're definitely going to want to make sure that you have the customer support availability that you are expecting and not some kind of automated robo customer support where you can't get a hold of a human if something goes wrong. The next part of the distributor assessment tool includes the distribution territories. And this one's really simple. Is it important for you to distribute to China? Is it important for you to get your music into Middle Eastern countries? If you're okay with just leaving this up to chance, that's fine. But for other artists, you might wanna look into this specifically. Also, these next few are pretty standard nowadays, but some distributors are still lacking. Do they distribute to TikTok? Do they do lyric distribution, right? Are they distributing to Pandora, Radio, or do you have to manually submit your song through Pandora? What about sound scan registration where they report your sales data to the Recording Academy so you can earn that platinum record one day? Some distributors do this, others actually are missing these features. So you're gonna to wanna to look into that before you decide. Finally, let's talk about the add-ons that your distributor can offer. And I'm not talking about the standard features like getting your music into stores, but things like mastering and playlist pitching. Are those things important to you? And I wanna shout out a couple of distributors. Not only does SoundCloud Repost distribute your music to all the major streaming services, have playlist pitching and split pay features just like DistroKid, but you can also get your music mastered by SoundCloud too, which is a really cool add-on that could be helpful if you are an artist that needs mastering for your songs. And another similar distributor that offers this is Lander. They actually started out as an instant mastering website and they added on distribution, which makes them a really cool option with a wide set of features and add-ons. They even have the ability to secure cover song licenses for you. So if you're looking for an all-in-one, SoundCloud repost or Lander distribution could be good options if the pricing is right for your lifestyle. One of the most important add-ons that's rarely talked about are some of the additional royalties that your distributor can collect because remember, distribution companies are actually not designed to collect all your royalties to begin with. So in this next video, I'm gonna teach you how to collect 100% of your music royalties because if you don't collect them, no one will and you're missing out on money that's already yours and you just have to claim it. I'll teach you the simple steps to claim your music royalties in the next video, so I'll see you there.